This week's Torah portion, Chayei Sarah, we are going to Jerba, Tunisia, 1950, a book called La Saper Betzion by Rabbi Vasifa Yosef Kohen Yonatan. At the very outset of this book, right, for the Torah portion of Chayei Sarah, at the very outset we are told that this is a book, right, because a book, you know, you want to know what you're going to read, read the front page. How are we going to explain, what is this sort of commentary on the Bible? B'derech v'shita chadasha. I'm going to take what the fathers, the forefathers write, what happened in the Bible, we're going to apply it to our day-to-day -day life in a new method. In the next page, he says, and this is beautiful, he says, in this small book, you know, simple book, you're not going to find any philosophy, you're not going to find science, you're not going to find, you know, wow stuff. Um, all you're going to find is simple things that I uh, told my friends as part of our Zionist movement called the Teretzion in Jerba. And he further on, he says, even though this is a commentary on the Bible, usually commentaries, there's a tradition where you send your book to different you know, prominent rabbis to give you a haskama, a sort of hechsha, say this is a wonderful book. He says, I didn't even do that with this book because I didn't want to mock those rabbis. This is amazing thinking that uh, uh, Rabbi Yosef uh, was a Dayan. He was a Jewish, you know, he was, he, he, uh, 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 he was a rabbi in Tunisia and uh, he doesn't want to get askamot, you know, hechsherim from other rabbis, you know, a real uh, um, uh, incredible individual. Chayei Sarah, we have the first shidduch in, his, in Jewish history. Avraham has the impossible mission of trying to find a shidduch for his daughter, for his son, Isaac. Rabbi Vasifa Yosef Kohen Yonatan says there are two types of assimilation. There is natural assimilation and circumstantial assimilation. Natural assimilation, a pole marries a pole. Tunisian marries a Tunisian. Circumstantial, Paul moves to Tunisia, marries a Tunisian. You leave what you, you know, what you left behind and you move into something else. And this is, you know, you're, you're, you're going to become part of something else. The, the question in the back of our minds here is, why did God tell Abraham to leave his country? Why wasn't Abraham simply born in Israel already, right? And I think Rabbi Yosef answers this here. He says, look at the dialogue between Avraham and Eliezer. Avraham says, how does Avraham solve this problem? Avraham has two fears. He can't have his son marry a Canaanite, right? Marry someone here where he lives because they're all doing idolatry. And that would be like circumstantial assimilation, right? You've moved from somewhere else and, and, and you're going to marry out, quote unquote. However, he can't also do natural assimilation because the place he comes from, or Kasdim, they're also all doing idolatry. So how does he get out of this broch? How does the first shidduch in Judaism work? Avraham's a genius. He, this is why he says to Eliezer, listen carefully. You are going to go there to where I come from, and you're going to bring the girl back here. That way, we've bypassed natural assimilation and circumstantial. Because we are taking someone from who we come from, but we're bringing her here, starting our own new thing. And this is why God chooses Abraham, because you need a new culture and new people, starting with the mitzvahs, with the commandments. And this is the only way it's possible. And this is why Abraham does this. And Vasifa says, Yosef Kohen Yonatan says, I look today, young Tunisians, boys and girls, and they're all marrying out. This is exactly what Isaiah 2,000 years ago was screaming at the Jews and saying, follow Avraham, stop, forget about the idolatry, forget about assimilation. Why did God choose our Saba, our grandfather, he calls him. Why did he choose our grandfather, Avraham? And look at the great you know, lengths that Avraham went through for the first Shidduch and now you're marrying out. And I think what Rabbi Vasifa is saying is, you think it's difficult for you? Poor boys and girls, you're in Jerba with 20, 30 boys, girls to choose from. Avraham had nothing. He had to bypass natural assimilation and circumstantial assimilation. He did it. So what about you? And what better place to do this in, he says, than in Israel. Right? Brilliant. This is a mind that, you know, just end by saying this book is full of quotes of, of a rabbi who's saying enough with being called uh, Sfadi, Ashkenazim, Yemenites, Poles. We're all Jews. Enough with Mitnagdim, Hasidim. We're all Jews and we should all be in one place in the land of Israel. Yosef Vasifa Kohen Yonatan, Le Saper Shabbat Shalom.